first things first, welcome to the Tigers of the Pacific playthrough. This series will be halfway preview and halfway just a video of the missions themselves. If you wish to be spoiled of plot elements and such, I do not recommend that you watch this series, but rather play the campaign as it becomes available. So, basically the campaign premise is that the island chain of Agana has fallen under Sunshine occupation. The enemy holds the harbors of Saipan and Guam, the main islands of the chain, as well as the major airports, including the large cargo depot airport of Anderson. Uh, obviously, I used the Marianas map. I only changed the general name of the place, but I didn't change the name of the islands for simplicity's sake. Fortunately, there was no military cargo there, but between the fuel and food supply store there for civilian use, a blockade has few chances to be successful. All Harriers will be divided into teams. 1 and 2 will fly as Springfield 1, 3 and 4 will fly as Springfield 2, 5 and 6 as Springfield 3. Between our intelligence efforts, we have concluded that the enemy operate at least two early warning radars, one on Saipan and one on Guam, and we will destroy the one on Saipan. We have no recon photos of the target, but we have narrowed down the location to a matter of meters. It's a Soviet-style 55G6 radar, yada yada yada, and it's quite impossible to miss being easily the tallest structure around, so we feel confident not sending you out without any pictures of the target, not even stop ones. The target is defended by SA-8 radar-guided missiles, but remember the intelligence briefing that Sunshine missiles are homemade and rather domestically made, and lack the same range as the Soviet counterparts being downgraded equipment, obviously. We need to stay high to remain out of range. To make things easier for us, the improvised 4Con team has been deployed during the night, and they are in a position to lace the target for us if we desire. Uh, contact Anvil on 243 if we will require their services, but we don't need to. We can do this the hard way if we like. Target is close to Saipan's airbase. By estimate, there will be two MiG-21 biz fish beds there as a quick reaction. Force. We can expect them to intervene with our mission, but we cannot spare any aircraft to escort us. So we pretty much have to do this on our own. Once the EVR has been destroyed, Springfield 2 and 3 will proceed on their own missions. Loadout will be two Sidewinders, two GBU-12s, and a targeting pod. Pilots may opt to switch their GBUs for Mavericks instead, obviously. Radio is uh, 2 for 3. And waypoints are the most basic. Takan is 1x for the USS Nassau. USS Nassau is over here. We will use a transit point to avoid the anti aircraft fire around the harbor. And then we will move in towards the target. And the target is here at a golf course. So let's get airborne. Let's get flying. Good morning, Springfield 1. You are cleared for departure. Zero, zero, 
one passing 2.5 kilo. Zero, zero, one. Clear to switch. One radar contact, proceed as fragged. Springfield 1, good hit on the target. Objective neutralized. We are leaving the area now. Sniff, two ship fish bed, closing fast. Looks like Saipan's quick reaction force has scrambled to greet you, Springfield 1. Target has been put 
Beep. 